Hey everyone, welcome back to part two of the Not So Simple Cottage in which we endeavored to put on a roof. I'm putting up the support columns as I'm supposed to. I wanted to do a covered porch, but boy, it took me, I could not, I couldn't get the roof to do what I wanted it to do. I tried slanting it, I tried all sorts of things. So here I am just basically doing it different colors so that I can tell the difference between the main house and the porch. Um, I did that to make the edges even. I don't even know why. I don't think I had to, but I did. So that is the, the porches. Great. Now I can see the porch. Now here I am trying roofs of different styles and different shapes. I must have tried this 50 times before I came across something that kind of sort of worked. I went with the flat roof for the porch. Didn't love it, but that's what I went with. So we're going to do some changes of coloring of the the wall. Um, again, I tried a few different things and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. So, but I ended up with this one, which I really like. So uh, it comes with a set of three, so you can do the corners nicely. And that's what I'm doing here. What I really liked is it gave it a very um, kind of a log cabinish look to it. So it really made it look like a cabin. So we're going to play around with, I believe, the, the roof. What color? What color should it be? Brown, dark brown, reddish brown, orangey brown. I think we ended up with this dark brown. Went with dark brown flooring uh, for the porch and the porch roof. And um, that looks okay. But then, I don't know. I got an inspiration of how what I wanted to do with the rest of the trim and such. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with white, with a dark wood, stay with the light wood. I, I just don't know. I ended up deciding to go with uh, dark wood all the way around. As you can see, then doing the laundry room. I like the red washer and dryer, but um, I didn't want to put those in. And I don't know why I could not get that wall to, to not glitch out and be lighter than the rest. Moving on to the kitchen put down a couple of rugs I want to make this a bright sunny airy uh, looking place so that uh, you know you'd come in and you'd you'd, you'd want to spend some time sitting at the kitchen table chatting having breakfast um, I love that decal for for the uh, wall but I ended up taking it down tried putting it on the window because I heard you could do that but I think you need a slightly bigger window to do that just decorating putting some things on the counter putting up a shelf or two uh, just making it look homey so that's where that ended up I ended up found this great hutch which is why that had to be moved it just oh I also decided better put up a burglar alarm I and on that door um, it ended up going behind the bookshelf. So there we go. And we don't like that that plant glitches through the wall. So we end up getting rid of it. It just glitches and it goes through the wall. And I don't like when plants do that because in real life, a plant is not going to be sticking through the wall. You have to put it so far away that it just defeats its purpose. It would be great in the middle of the room, but on the edge, it doesn't work for me. So I added some different different plants. That rug kept moving. Every time I went to move that plant, uh, the rug moved. So we just put it back later. So we have a, a few little plants just uh, set in that corner just to make it cheerier, I guess. And put the rug back. One of those plants I decided, uh, I thought I could change the color of the pot on them. So, you know, because yellow is the theme for the kitchen. Although in this lighting, it kind of looks like a greenish yellow. It's kind of weird. But it is, it is, it is yellow. 
Okay, that is about it for the kitchen. I believe we move on to the bathroom next. Yes. And here we are. We're going to do the master bath. Couldn't decide what color to make this. I added some things on the wall. Added a few doodads here and there to make it look homier. Took the wall out dividing uh, the toilet and then put it back because I figured, you know, maybe she'd want some privacy, whoever was living there. Went with a pretty little lavender for that bathroom. Went over to this Oh, found a clothes rack that would look great in the laundry room. So I put that up along with some detergent and whatnot. And then I went to this bathroom. This one I ended up going gray. I found this floor tile that I liked. And so I thought, why not? I don't have a, a lot of neutral. A lot of my colors are bright and cheerful. So I went moving on to the master bedroom, putting up some whatnot. I love that picture. It fit the bedroom so nicely putting up some curtains because you know it's not a home without curtains trying to put some books on the shelf make it look like it's used uh, the child's bedroom colorizing the bookshelves colorizing uh, putting stuff on the wall changing things around a little bit just uh, putting it down a rug to make it you know comfy Putting up some curtains. Forgot to put them on the other window though. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. Didn't put any curtains up in the in the baby's room. There I am knocking that wall down to make the nursery just a little bit bigger. So I can do some other things. I wanted to have that swinging chair because uh, babies like that. And I also wanted to put in a rocking chair and I couldn't couldn't make room. I love these cute little animal pictures. Uh, the jungle pictures for a baby's room. I just think they're adorable. So those ended up going in. I also have, um, looks like a, a diaper bag that you'd put uh, by the changing table. So I have that. There's the rocking chair. I found it. I just wanted to put it. And I changed that to the match th the room. And then we're putting in the living room. We're putting a playpen and a walker because baby can't spend all its time in the bedroom. Putting Found those beanbag chairs, so I'm putting those up so they could uh, sit and have a little read time. And then there's um, also, I put a cup of something. Looks like maybe an empty bowl of ice cream. And then we are doing, what are we doing next? I don't even know. Oh, just oh, I found a great picture that only shows if the wall is up. It's like a guitar. I thought it would look great over the stereo. Putting some unseen lighting up, using that by debug uh, cheat, and putting those up. Putting some hanging flowers up. Putting some lights outside. Just doing some finishing touches now. It really is. Um, just about it. I had to do some some landscaping. So we're starting with a walkway to come down from each side, lined it with some rock uh, fencing, uh, put in some couple of little garden spots, some plants in the front, and that's looking beautiful. And then we went out back. And I believe, yes, this is where I got the bright idea that I wanted a gazebo in the backyard. I could not figure out that roof. It took me several tries, but I did finally get it. I believe this is where I got it. Putting, yep, putting some lights up. Put a jacuzzi in the gazebo because why not? That's why I did it. Um, putting some lights around the pathway and in the garden area and also out back so that we can see it looks great at night oh my goodness that looks so nice so pretty oh look at that that's beautiful and here it is from the front yes oh so nice so nice and so nicely lit up and there we have it 
all right so anyway there's some still shots coming up in the meantime if you like what you saw today hit the like button subscribe to my channel uh, make a comment what kind of house would you like to see uh, I I enjoy doing this I have I'm going to change the way I record and do uh, section by section like I did at this sec this part here um, and I'm gonna leave you with a shot of the gazebo and I'll talk to you later bye <laughs>